Thanks so much for tuning in. On this episode of Dan's Garage, Dan replaced all the lock cylinders and he finally got all the storage back on the ramp truck. Hey Dan, run that intro. Hey gearheads. So when I bought this truck, not all of these open, uh, these little storage bins. So this one does, or both of them on the front do, but the back ones, I can't even get a key in. And of course, with any vehicle like this, you get like 13 keys, nobody knows why. Um, so I have tried all the keys, I can't even get a key to go in there. So today the mission is both of these back locks not working. We're gonna try and get a key to go in them and turn. If that doesn't work, we'll try to uh, like kind of pick the lock with some pick tools and screwdrivers. I'll see if I can like MacGyver it open. If that doesn't work, we're gonna get the drill out. So let's get started and see what happens. This is the key that fits on the front lock and I, I would assume these are the same, but this won't even go in there. So there's either a broken key in there, somebody broke off or there's something stuck. So let me see if I can see what's going on in there. I can't see that close. We'll try some blaster to get some juice in there and see what's going on. Maybe I can pick a little something out of there, see if there's something in there. Can you see? If you look close, you'll notice that this is actually an extra plate. So they did that with a lot of this bed. Um, I have a feeling this was a little rusted out on the inside. So instead of replacing it the right way, they just attached another uh, plate steel to it. They did that on the other side as well. So I don't know, their methodology of fixing things on this truck was a lot different than mine, which we all know. If you've seen the videos, you know what I do. So let's see if we can get a key to go in here. I'm gonna have to get a better look. What should I do? Put down in the comments what you would do in this situation. We'll see if I do the same thing or if I get it wrong. Maybe I should try blowing it out with air. Would that help? Let me get some compressed air. So I got a little bit of compressed air. See if that'll do anything. I don't know if there's anything in here that'll come out. Things just blowing the blaster out. I don't know if there's any chance there's a piece of a key stuck in there that would come out with this. Does not seem to be doing anything. It seems like the lock is actually, oh look at that, it just moved. Get in there. Oh, this thing is... Oh, I feel like it should be opening. This is what they do with lock picks. They kind of put a little side pressure on it and you try and get the tumblers to go up but this is not going in deep enough, and I'm not a block picker, so. Let's take a look at the front door and see what the lock looks like on the inside to see if maybe we can pry this off or do something else. All right, so this is the front lock, and as I said, this one I know does work. So you can't take the key out when it's unlocked, so you kind of have to leave the key in there to open it and close it, which kind of stinks. I'd rather have it to where I can unlock it and leave it unlocked and get the key out, so I don't know if that's a lock thing. I might replace this one too, but let's look at the inside. So here's the inside, and you can see the rust here, so the other side probably just rusted through. Um, I did have to put a nail in here for the handle because the other part was broken and coming off. So here's how the handle works. It opens up the latch here, and here's the lock. So when it's in the lock position, this can't go out. So you can still close it when it's latched because there's a spring in here, but you can't open it uh, with the handle. You can't push it. It's pushing against this. So without being able to unlock this, I think if I try to force it, it's probably gonna break something else up against there. You can see this comes off with a pawl just like the other uh, ones do. Unfortunately, it's in the back, so I can't really get to the inside of it um, to try to move that. Actually, I couldn't do it anyway if the key was out. I wouldn't be able to move it. I could maybe get that nut off and then get this off and it'll slide out. Let's take a look at that. Okay, so you're now inside the front box, and if you look to the back, you can see the back box is open here. I got my light in there, and we can access the lock, so I think it's time for uh, getting small and getting in there. You can also see in here where they plated the inside of it. 
because it looks like this. Same reason they re-diamond plated the whole top of the truck. So this thing got rusted out, but they replated it. So it's probably twice as heavy, but it works twice as good. So let me uh, see if I can set you up and get down to that lock and see if we can take it apart. All right, guys, I don't know how this is gonna sound or look, but I'm trying to take you along for the ride. So we're gonna just try to get this lock Paul off like that. And should be able to pop this out. There we go. All right, so that was a lot easier than I thought. And now we can get this thing open, hopefully. It's got some, some rust in it. I'm gonna have to go inside and give it its release. Maybe that wasn't the only problem. Maybe I'll have to pry it a little bit. Let's see. Unless it's not releasing all the way. A bigger pry bar on the top here, maybe? maybe. There we go. Look at that. Oh yeah, this door is really heavy. You see the door actually doesn't look too bad. I mean, it's got a little rot through here, but a lot of this looks like surface rust, but I'm sure they welded that plate on for a reason. But our goal is to get this moving a little bit better. So let's juice this up and we'll clean out some of this rust in here and uh, see if we can get it opening and closing well without the lock. And then we can put a lock back in here and be able to open and close it. So you can see there's a lot of rot over here too. So we'll go ahead and clean all that up. And inside, it doesn't look much better. Now, it was able to get the lock out, as you just saw. I think I'm just going to buy new ones of these. I think I'm going to get four, because then I can be have them all keyed the same, and they're only like $2.99. That's U.S. money. So, I think I'm just going to buy new ones of these. So, when they come in, we'll go ahead and reinstall. But for now, I'll go ahead and get the vacuum and clean all this out. Hey, you guys want to watch me vacuum up all this rust? <laughs> think so let's see how it looks actually it looks pretty nice in here there is a lot of surface rust but they plated the inside because you look up here at the top of the box that's actually the bottom of the bed there and the cross supports and the boxes are just rotted out all up in here so um, I guess it was a good idea that they plated them on the insides and on the bottom so we can still use them so that's uh, that's it for this side until we get the new lock cylinders. Now I know what they look like, so I can do that. Let's look at the other side. Now it is a little bit tighter here because I'm up against the house, but I don't believe it's the same key for this side. I think these are replacement locks, and sometimes I'm not sure how it goes in or fits in. This is the one for the back. Again, I got a bunch of keys for this, and I'm not sure what does what. So we'll, we'll find it's got to be one of these, right? I mean, it's got to be. Why would they give me all these keys? Oh, look at that. That one fits in and turns. All right, so the cool thing with this one is it can be locked, or I can actually unlock it and pull the key out, and it'll open. So that is nice for this side, and now I know this is the right key. So let's try this key on the back one. Over to the back door here. Do we think this is gonna work with the same key? Ooh, it does fit in. I don't like that. But it's not turning at all. Hmm. Why would it fit in but not turn? Because it's the right key blank, but it's not the right key cut. I'll have to crawl in there. Actually, I can't even crawl in there. It's too close to the house. Uh, I don't plan on moving the truck for a while, so I mean, maybe I can reach in there. All right, either this is going to work or it's going to end up in the bloopers. Sorry. I can see it, and I think I'm going to be able to do it, so watch this right here. It's working. All right, so with that done, let's see if this thing will open. Ooh. Yo, 
There we go. Hi. This was hitting up against here, so I don't know if this is a new plate or if this moved a little bit, but I think we're definitely going to have to adjust this a little bit. I might have to just notch this out to make it uh, so I can open it because that was really not a, a swell thing. got to remember, guys, this stuff is old like us. Well, some of us. Just needs a little bit of lubrication. All right, so we got the grinder. We're going to go ahead and uh, just grind this a little bit until it works better. It's got plenty of travel here, so I'm really not concerned about grinding too much off, if you're concerned. And I am wearing safety goggles, glasses, things. All right, that took a whole lot of grinding, um, but we finally got it. I just had the clearance basically around the door, and then that inside piece was messed up because there's an extra piece of steel in there. But we got it opening pretty good, and I can actually just close it. Um, now, the only thing with the key is I have to get a key lock that will leave it so it's unlocked without the key being in it, so that way I can just open it and close it because it's usually at my house or I'm in it, so I don't really have to worry about locking these things. But if I do have to lock it, I'll have the key, so that'll be nice. Um, I'm gonna go check out the other side. This lip is, uh, is a little rusted down at the bottom, but the lock catch is here. This looks like it's okay, so I think we're just gonna have to clearance this out a little bit so we can uh, get it to close right, so let's go ahead and do this. All right, this one closes a little weird because it's heavy and the uh, hinge needs to be replaced, but we got them all opening and closing, so let's go check out those lock cylinders. So this is what I got to replace them. I got this on Amazon. It was basically 20 bucks for four lock cylinders. There's two different poles for each one, a straight one and an angled one, and they have keys that come with them, so they're all key to like. So let's open it up and take a look. We'll go ahead and bring both of these poles and see if we need to do straight, offset, or offset. Offset in or offset out. All right, guys, we're basically going to put this up here like this, and then we can actually see that it's too long. So what we're going to have to do is trim this down so it'll fit. So that's there, so I'd say kind of do a little rainbow cut like that. Guys, you know what I realized? Looking at the, the length of this, I think what they did is they just took the end and bent it instead of cutting it. So I think I'm going to try doing that same thing. If it doesn't work, I can always use the other one. So let's go ahead and do that. Wow. All right, I think we're going to be in good shape. Let's go back to the truck and try it out. All right, so I'm just going to feed this in. And it looks like it's going to work perfect. So I'm going to leave it up, and then you just put the nut right over it and we're going to lock that down and then there we go so when it's up it can open it all the way and when it's down it can't when i first bought this truck Half of these wouldn't even unlock or open, so that rendered half of my storage useless. Now, for $20, I got four brand new locks for years of trouble-free operation. They all operate on the same key. I can leave them unlocked if I want to. If I'm going to be at home, I don't need to keep unlocking it to open it and then lock it again, because some of them would only operate that way. So, for 20 bucks on Amazon, we're in good shape. So, that's it for this episode. Quick, easy, cheap fix. I'll see you on the next one. Well, that's it for this episode. You can leave comments below, give this video a thumbs up, and make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you get notifications when new videos are uploaded. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Until then, stay positive and keep on wrenching. Storage back on the ramp truck. Is this storage? Yeah. Oh, that's a smart thing to do. And man, that sun is so bright. I can't even be in the shot. I'll just get out. I'm just babbling a whole lot, so just ignore me. Half of the storage useless to me, and the other ones I couldn't even get into. Well, it's kind of the same time. Hmm.